So preventive medicine is, um, is the specialty I, I chose. While I was in Haiti, I worked with um, an environmental health officer and a preventive medicine technician, and I watched them try and prevent mosquito-borne disease. That was like my first exposure to preventive medicine. And then while I was a medical student at USIS, we had several exposures to preventive medicine. And one of them was a lecture from an army colonel named Michael Lewis, and he described a scrub typhus outbreak investigation that he helped lead in the Maldives. And so based on that, it made me think about that preventive medicine provided the opportunity to help not just individual patients, but uh, an entire population. And so that appealed to me at the time that um, we were choosing specialties. So in preventive medicine, we do outbreak investigations. We write health policy. Uh, we sometimes provide direct patient care. We serve as advisors to um, medical and line leaders. And we conduct disease surveillance. I guess what's unique is that it's a very diverse specialty. We don't often do the same tasks in each um, billet that we serve in. So in my case, for example, um, I've done research, I've done work with mortality data to try and make vehicles and body armor safer for those who are deployed downrange. I've worked with uh, military recruits to try and preserve and protect their health while they're going through training. I've served in an operational unit with the Marine Corps, and currently I do health policy at BUMED, the Navy Medical Headquarters. I think for me, the Navy and my work colleagues have become a second family, and so the people who have chosen this profession are very important to me, and that has motivated me and instilled in me a desire to, to help and work with others. That's what I appreciate most about the Navy is that it's a challenging profession and it's not always structured. Sometimes you have to be creative and problem solve and I really appreciate um, the team aspect of being in the Navy.